Here we have a great related rates problem, the melting snowball. And uh, I wrote that, took the liberty of drawing a picture here, drawing some, um, I, draw, I drew the sun that's melting the, the snowball, and uh, wrote down a few key pieces of information. The diameter of the snowball at the time in which we're interested in analyzing is eight inches, meaning that the radius is of course four inches. And uh, what are we given here? And of course, I'm assuming that you have read the question. If not, I suggest you pause the video and do it. So um, we want to determine the rate in which the volume of the snowball is decreasing. So we want to know dv dt. That's the big question mark here. And uh, we know that the surface area is decreasing at a rate of 32 pi square inches per minute. And in this case, that I'm using A as the surface area, we're going to have dA dt equal to negative 32 pi. Fantastic. So this is a two-step problem. Because first I'm going to use this formula to figure out the rate in which the radius is changing. And then once I got that, I will use, so dr dt is basically an intermediate question, so we can finally arrive at dv dt. So once I got dr dt, I can actually use it to figure out, using this formula here, to find dv dt. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'll take the area formula, and I will differentiate or I'll take ddt, sorry, <laughs> ddt of both sides. So ddt of a equals ddt of 4 pi r squared. Great. So now I can take out the 4 here. And uh, this is basically implicit differentiation, right? So if you're not familiar with that, check out our website. We've got many videos. ddt of a is just the a dt. And here I can take out, uh, I'll take out the pi as well, so I can make it 4 pi d dt of r squared. And right here, I can actually take the derivative of r squared, which is just 2r, and I'll need to multiply that by dr dt, which is right now what we're interested in finding. Fantastic. So now I can plug in 32 pi for dA dt, or actually negative 32 pi because the surface area is decreasing. So I have ne negative 32 pi equals. Now I can also plug in the radius, which is 4. So I have 4 pi times 2 times 4 equals dr dt. Great. Now let me continue over here, because I have run out of room. That's a pretty ugly arrow, I guess. So 32, negative 32 pi equals 4 times 2, 8 times 4, 32 pi times dr dt. Oh, well, this is going to work out nicely, isn't it? Yes, it is. I can just divide both sides by 32 pi to isolate dr dt. You cancel out. Negative 32 over 32 is negative 1. Look at that. So at that instant, when the radius is 4, the radius measures uh, 4 inches, the radius is actually just going down by 1 inch per minute. Fantastic. Now we know what this is. So that's equal to 1. Or negative 1, sorry. Now we can go into this formula, differentiate it, so we can solve for dv dt. Okay, so d dt, let me just use another color actually. Um, do I want to use black? No, let me use green. Here, okay. So d dt of v equals d dt of 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So again, I can take out 
the constant, 4 over 3 pi. So you have d dt of r cubed, which is equal. Now, the derivative with respect to t of v is just dv dt, which is what we're ultimately interested in, and which will be equal to, now, d dt of r cubed will be the derivative of r cubed with respect to r, so 3r squared, right, just the derivative of r cubed, times the r dt. So we have 4 over 3 pi times 3 r squared times the r dt. Great. So now let's start plugging things in. The r dt, we just learned it was negative 1. r is just 4. The 3's can cancel out. So dv dt will be equal to 4 pi times 4 squared times negative 1. 4 squared is 16, times 4, 64, times negative 1, negative 64, pi. And that's the answer. And I ran out of room to actually write the answer down, but um, so that determine the rate in which the volume is decreasing. Well, the volume is decreasing at negative 64 pi inches cubed per minute. Be careful with the units, right? So we're dealing with inches, so, and V is the volume, of course. So negative 64 pi inches cubed per minute. And why do we have a negative value? Well, because, of course, the volume is going down. The snowball's melting, right? So that's it.